Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is this is Sergio. I thought I would make a quick video on the equipment I had to buy to open the meat markets. And as you can see around, I'm in my in my bedroom at my house. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at my computer and my phone because I, I took down notes because the list is kind of long. I hope I didn't leave anything out. So I'm gonna start in no particular order. Uh, I, I'm just gonna mention that uh, lately the the sales have been the meat sales have been picking up. Uh, we've been selling around four to five hundred dollars per day of meat. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. And uh, as some of you may know, this past week was very cold in Texas uh, some of some of the cities up north received snow we barely saw some snowflakes but let it snow 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 <laughs> the, unfortunately our ground wasn't covered in snow but uh, it, it was a uh, uh, really cold and the there was a lot of families that didn't have a uh, electricity or water so a lot of the a lot of the other stores were closed uh, a lot of the supermarkets were also closed so we, we saw some uh, some more sales uh, because of that so mother nature helped us out so uh, I'm gonna start with the list what I have first is the Meat, meat display and compressor so that's the most important thing that that uh, that you will need for a for the uh, for the meat market i don't know if you guys uh for those of you that are subscribed and have sent have seen my other videos i i went to pick up a a, a meat display to the valley i bought it used unfortunately the compressor uh, did not work. I was told that it was working, but uh, once I brought it back to the radio, uh, it wasn't working. I bought a 12 foot, um, and I'll, t I'll, I'll attach a picture of it, a 12 foot meat display. It was really heavy. I had to rent a U-Haul because it wouldn't fit in my in my pickup. So I had to rent a U-Haul and uh, my wife had to bring drive back the truck to Laredo. So once we brought, once we brought it back, uh, I, I uh, paid my my AC tech to connect it and unfortunately it didn't work so I had to order a new compressor which we, which I put in the roof of the of the store and those I, I, I'm really not gonna cover the prices but uh, I, I'm just gonna say uh, the meat displays are, are really expensive they're usually around eight to ten thousand dollars new. I paid, uh, I believe it was about $2,500 for mine. And I paid about $1,200 for the, for the new compressor installed. So, I, I would recommend for you to buy it used, just to check that it's in working condition. If, if it's still connected, make sure that uh, it, it uh, take a thermometer and, and uh, a thermostat, I, 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 might, I might say, and uh, make sure that it's, that it goes down to at least 37 38 degrees which is what it, it's it's just it's supposed to be at so another thing that i uh, the, sec the second thing i have on my list is a meat display aluminum trays so this trays i was looking for them all over laredo i even went to the nearby cities uh, i called and, and looked and nobody had them in stock so i found them in ebay i bought some used aluminum trays these are the trays that uh, go inside the the meat display, and and then on those on top of those trays you, you you put like a green paper, and then you put the meat on top of it. So those trays are really important, and uh, we decided to go with a I, I believe it was a, a ten inch wide by thirty. Uh, they sell eight inch, six inch, and twelve inch. So it all depends on the cut on the cuts or the type of meat that you're gonna put in the in the in the display. Uh, you would ask for 
But I, I found a great deal. They usually run around uh, between $25 and $50 a piece. And I needed uh, about 15 uh, trays. So it was going to be a lot of money. I found a, a really good deal. Uh, I think I paid like $5 for them for, for them each. But I bought them used. But they're aluminum. They can be washed and it can be reused. The third, the third thing that I have in my list is the meat saw. And this is like a like like a, uh, a, a freestanding saw, and it, it looks like the ones that you they used to cut to cut the wood, but this one of course is it used to cut uh is used to cut the the meat and the bone. So this this is one of the most important things in the apart from the from the display. This is another uh, really important uh, piece of equipment, and and it's another one that's really really expensive. So again, used. Uh, new they go for around six to ten thousand dollars or probably even more I didn't even check them new uh, I, 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 I didn't I, I didn't want to invest that kind of money uh, starting off because I, I knew that it was gonna take time to recuperate my investment so I decided to buy this equipment used from a local uh, meat market that I was closing down I bought a, a lot of the merchandise I bought a, a lot of the equipment uh, probably like a year or two years before I decided to open the meat market. I just bought it and most of the stuff I sold and the bigger equipment I kept there in stock. And I'm glad that I did because uh, uh, now it's serving a purpose. So I'm figuring because I, I made a, a, a group buying. So I'm, I'm thinking I paid about about $2,000 or $1,500 for, uh, for this equipment. And uh, locally I... I uh, I found the 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 band, the one that actually cuts uh, the the saw band, I, I or belt. I don't know what it's. Re I don't really know what it's. I remember what it's called, but uh, I sourced it locally. Um, they also sell them on eBay. They go for around ten to fifteen dollars each. I bought uh, some extra ones just in case one snaps. We can have uh, we can be back in action within a few minutes of changing the the belt. So the next one on the list, the fourth, the fourth equipment on the list is uh, the meat grinder. Uh, they usually run a good one. Usually runs between a thousand and three thousand dollars. I sourced one from eBay, a, a new one actually, uh, not a real big, uh, bulky commercial one, but a, a smaller commercial one, more compact. I paid seven hundred and change for it. Unfortunately, I ordered the wrong head. The, the head that I ordered for this machine uh, is the is used for for doing strips of meat kind of like if you want to do beef jerky so now I have to reorder just the head for I'm sorry I, 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 got, I got confused uh, with, with <laughs> I got confused with the with the tenderizer no I'm talking about the grinder so I'll, I'll just finish uh, talking about the tenderizer so the tenderizer, um, unfortunately, I I ordered one on eBay. I didn't check the feedback. I just ordered a night real quick, and, and I never got the item. So right now I'm doing a claim with the credit card. I tried to do a claim with eBay, but since the since the seller did ship something to Laredo, uh, not to my address, but somewhere to Laredo, eBay said that they couldn't refund me my money. And I, I did a claim with my credit card and they're working on it. Uh, they also try to pull the same uh, excuse with with a credit card. But I told the credit card company that uh, that I never received anything. And I actually called UPS and they said that I wasn't, I wasn't, my name wasn't on the, on, the, on the shipping information or my address. So they couldn't give me any information. So he probably knows someone in Laredo or just picked a random uh, business and, 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 uh, and delivered. And uh, so I'm working on getting my money back on that one, but but I reordered another one from a, from a legitimate uh, business in, in eBay, and I paid about seven hundred and fifty dollars for it, but I ordered it with the wrong head. So now uh, now I'm gonna have to reorder the, the just the head and instead of the beef jerky. I'm, I'm gonna order the the tenderizer, which which is basically a machine that you pass it through, you pass the fajitas through it. And it basically steps little 
little, like little needles into the meat so it can make it a little bit softer. So a lot of people here locally, they, they ask for it. Uh, they'll tell you, I want it through the machine. And that means that they, they want it tenderized. So for the correct tenderizer head, the beef jerky head, uh, I already ordered, I already bought it. So I'm just gonna keep it in stock and I'm gonna see what I can use it for in the future. So I'm using my notes on my uh, uh, iPhone 11. So the meat tenderizer, I already spoke about. So next one, the, the meat, meat grinder, the one that I had skipped, the meat grinder. So the meat grinder is basically used to make a, to make a, it's called, it's called molida in Spanish, but I don't remember what it's called. Do you know what it's called? Uh, yes, yeah. Molida in English? Ground beef. Okay. So it's called ground beef. So this machine, uh, this machine is uh, you you get some other meats like milanesa and and, and you you put it through the machine and, and you cut it and it'll give you it, it will basically make you ground beef so that machine i i also ordered it on ebay i paid around uh, i think it was about around 500 dollars for it so the next the, the next machine on my list is a uh, foot scale and printer so this machine is very important. I went to Mexico and I bought a, a cheap, uh, I bought it new, but it's a cheap scale where, where I'm weighing my, uh, the, the meats. Unfortunately, I, I don't have a scale. So what I'm doing right now is uh, where the, the butchers are, are, are dispatching the customers and they're weighing the meats and they're manually writing down in, in a piece of uh, sticker, like a label. They put it on the back and they write, they write down the amounts. Uh, because the scale, you, and on the scale you have to input, you weigh the item, let's say I weigh this uh, cell phone, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be one pound. So you, you have to input manually what the price of that, of that pound is. So if it's 3.99 the pound, you input 3.99, the scale will do the calculation and it, it'll give you the price. So right now, as a temporary, uh, basically, uh, band-aid, we're, we're, we're having to write down with a, with a Sharpie on a, on a piece of label, a white label, they write down the, the, the cost. And when, when the customer goes to the cashier, the cashier will see the label, let's say $7.99, and they'll just charge the customer. So right now, I'm using that technique. Uh, it's not a very good strategy because uh, it, 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 it gives room for error and also room for, for theft, unfortunately. So I have to look into buying a, a commercial scale with an integrated printer, a printer that will, that will print the barcode, it will, it will print the dates, it will print the, uh, the item that, that, that the customers are taking. For example, if they're taking uh, three pounds of, of, of ground beef and each pound is $1.99, so it, they're, they're gonna pay $6. So I have to look into that. Uh, it's not it's not as easy as just as just buying a, a a scale with a printer because the I have to make sure that my POS can read the barcodes on the scale. So that's a dilemma right now. Uh, I'm I'm looking into it. I, I'm really thinking of upgrading my my system because I'm, my system is kind of old. My POS system is kind of old. So I'm really thinking of of maybe upgrading to a to a, to a newer POS system so so that the scale and the printer and everything can be integrated and uh, that way that the barcode can be easily scanned and, and 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 the customer can be charged accordingly so the the foot scales with printers that I've been looking online they range from $600 to about $2000 uh, uh printer and scale I paid less than $100 for mine uh, so it's a small uh very small print, very small scale without a printer. So I'm gonna have to upgrade that in the new future. I, I, I'll make, make sure to make another video on that. When, I, again guys, I, I'm in my house, so I don't have my ring lights. And unfortunately, uh, I don't know if, if the video is gonna be uh, really dark, but I, 
I chilled off the 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 light on, on the on the back, so I think I think it looks better this way. So the next thing on my list is butcher knives, skinning knives, and boning knives. So I bought these knives. I I, I think I bought the pair for about fifty dollars or sixty dollars uh, here locally in a uh, commercial equipment st uh, store. So. You, you can also find them on in Amazon or in eBay and that's not, that's not a big deal and, and these are used uh, once again some customers uh, they ask the the butcher to open the the meat in half uh, so the, the, the knives are very important so, so that the, your butchers gonna have uh, specialized equipment and, and uh, so the next one is a cutting boards so these smaller things I'm gonna go quick because um, they're, they're not the uh, I mean, they're important, but uh, everybody should know what they are. A cutting boards. Uh, you, you, I, I also bought some commercial stainless steel tables. Excuse me. The commercial stainless steel tables were very expensive locally. They were between three hundred and four hundred dollars. I went to eBay and I paid about one hundred and twenty-five dollars. So I, I probably paid less than half uh, by ordering it on eBay. So that's probably where they order locally and they just resell them to the people that buy them here. Uh, which I have no problem, but uh, if you can wait, go ahead and order it through eBay. It, it's the same table. I mean, just make sure that the, that the top is stainless steel. Uh, the legs can be another material, but uh, the top should be stainless steel. I ordered two, two, two tables. So the next one on my list is the hot foot display. Uh, this one is also very important because uh, selling hot food, hot meat, and 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 goes in con goes in, in conjunction with with uh, with with selling uh, uh, raw meats with, with with having a meat market. Uh, so some foods that some meats that take a little bit longer to sell, uh, it's better for you to cook them, and, and sometimes they go they go faster if they're cooked. So you just gotta play with your customers, and, and uh, you you gotta and every day you're gonna learn from them, and you're gonna see what strategy uh, works best. But uh, that 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 uh, display, I bought it in. Uh, I also bought it in 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 the valley with with the mid display. I also bought the hot food display. Um, I I think I paid about probably around three or four hundred dollars for it. Uh, I don't know the exact number because I I, I made a group uh, I, I made a bundle and I, and I and I made him an offer so uh, but I, I calculated about three to four hundred dollars for it I don't know how much they are new but I imagine that they're probably around two to three thousand dollars especially the size that the size that we have it's a bigger version uh, so these bigger equipment they're older but as uh, like the brand, like the the Biro Biro brands and uh, uh, Hobo, Hoboards, those brands uh, they're very commercial. They're older, but they last a lifetime. Uh, they're probably gonna outlast us. So uh, don't be discouraged to buy uh, those equipment used uh, as long as they're in working condition. And sometimes even if they're not in working condition, you can probably find somebody local that can fix them. Uh, the manuals are still up online, and and all, all the equipment you can uh, you can still buy the the uh, the parts for it, and you can repair it. So don't be discouraged to buy it on Craigslist, Facebook, uh, Classifieds, or, or any other uh, website. This next one we already had, but uh, I'm I'm just gonna mention it because it, it's a necessity, and in case you don't have it, uh, you you have to invest in it. So a three compartment sink with with a grease trap so we already had a, a compartment a three compartment sink and uh i i also put their uh, water heater because you, you need hot water to be washing all the uh all the uh all the dishes that are going to come out with the with grease so you need hot water so you're going to need a boiler if, if you don't have uh, hot running water in, in your convenience store and you also need a three compartment sink and you need a, a grease trap which I don't have and uh, right now I, I'm already talking to a plumber uh, it's gonna run me about $1,800 $1, for the grease trap 
uh, installed by a licensed plumber. So the greaser basically catches the grease from the from the sink, and so it won't it won't go, it won't so it will stay in the in the in the trap, and it won't go to the to the city plumbing. So that's very important. If not, uh, you can probably be shut down if you don't have it, uh, or you won't pass the the permits. So the three compartment sink, I've seen them used for around two hundred to five hundred dollars. New, they're closer to a thousand dollars. So that also you can buy it used because it's, I mean, stainless steel. Nothing will happen to it. Uh, another thing that you that, that you may you may have already, but I, I, it's also worth mentioning, so you can know, is some of this equipment, especially the. Uh, the the meat saw it's 220 electricity so i we had to run a plug a 220 plug so that's something to think about uh, i think i paid around 150 dollars for an electrician to run the i i i just called my handyman but he he ran the uh a 220 outlets for the for the meat market a you need a place to store the meats uh, most of the meat has to be frozen so it can last a little bit longer so I bought three chest freezers I bought two of them used from my from my parents I think I paid about a thousand dollars for both and then I bought one new at Lowe's and I think I paid around seven hundred dollars for it so since I don't have a walk-in freezer I, I, I invested and I don't have the space to be honest I just invested in, in three uh, three chest freezers and so far they've been doing the job. Well, one of them we have inside the convenience store for the public so the customers can can buy some items from there and the other two are basically in the in the back in the back office in the back uh, in the back end of the store for, for for the butcher use. So an another thing on the list is, is gloves for the for the butchers aprons and hair nets or caps so uh, I mean those are just safety uh, re health regulations another thing is shelf shelving in, on the wall so they can put their their stuff or or I, I buy drawer cabinets uh, like an indu industrial drawer cabinet on uh, on on Sam's Sam's Club I think I paid around six hundred dollars for it, but it's very sturdy. Uh, it has tires, so it can be moved around, and uh, the top of it is, is made of wood, so they can cut there. And uh, I, I think it was a, and it has a lot of drawers, so they can put whatever stuff they they have there. The next one on my list is a hose in a in a hose faucet. So this one is very important because. Every week they have to wash the display. They have to take out all the other meats and and they have to wash it. Uh, so my daughter. So th this one is also very important. Um, the good thing I had already done this uh, before. Uh, I ha I had installed the a water hose faucet next to the three compartment sink, so we could wash the mops. So there, the, the I just bought the the a, a water hose and, and the butcher connects to 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 the faucet and and he'll 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 scrub the floors and, and it, they because they throw a lot of water uh, so it, they can keep it clean. Uh, so th he'll wash the he'll scrub the floors and and, and he'll wash the that display. And that display has a drain and that drain is connected to the to the to the to the water drain. So. So it's very easy to clean up. So on those last things like the hairnet and all those, I, I I didn't go over the prices because I really don't remember. And I mean th those things you can find anywhere. Uh, so once again, guys, th that's that's the end of the list. If, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, um, I still don't have all the answers because we're learning as we go. This is a, a, a learning process. It's basically a, a, like having a, a new business. Uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's basically a business within the business. It's a, it's a new business venture. 
and we're learning as we go. We're learning a lot from from our from our employees, from the butchers. They're the they're basically the professional ones. We, we my wife and I really don't know about this business, but we're learning as we go. If you if you have any questions, we just hit a hundred subscribers. I think we're up to one hundred five. So I'm 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 really excited. Uh, I still remember when we were at at five subscribers and, and even even 20 subscri subscribers seemed like a lot and, and impossible. So right now that we're, we're at 105, I, I am sure that, that we can hit a thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm going to try my best to upload at least once a week or twice a week. Because I, I, I've been noticing that the more I upload, the more subscribers and the more watch time I get. So I, I'm going to try to... To upload more and uh, and, and to be uh, to be more active, uh, and uh, I, I'm here to help. If you guys have any questions with with a uh, with with uh, with your business, or, or if, if you want to open a convenience store, if you have any questions, I'm, I'm, I might be able to help you out. Thanks a lot, guys. God bless. Thanks.